If you're considering making a move to the Atlanta area, well, don't we are full. Okay, that's a little bit of a joke that we have here in the Atlanta area, but it is true. We are seeing so many people move to this city. I mean, it's evident in our traffic that just keeps growing by the day. But if you're wondering why are people moving to the Atlanta area? Well, that's what I'm going to cover in this video. I'm going to go over five reasons why people are making a move to the Atlanta area. So let's get started. Hey there, my name is Molly and welcome to my channel. If you are new or returning and you know everything there is to know about living in the Atlanta area, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And hey, if you're thinking about making a move here and you wanna talk further more about your home search, I can help you out there. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email or put any comments you have down below. And hey, if you are watching this and you live in Atlanta, you have some comments to say, put them down that comment, comments box below of why you like living in Atlanta or maybe why you don't like living in Atlanta. Let the viewers know. Okay, so why are people moving to Atlanta? Well, you know, Atlanta has been in the news a lot and I pulled some different articles just kind of giving you an idea of the scope of what we're dealing with with the amount of people moving to Atlanta. So we've got from 2021 to 2022, 65,000 people moved to Atlanta. The National Association of Realtors put out an article earlier this year saying Atlanta was one of the top 10 real estate markets to watch. And actually they put Atlanta as the number one market to watch. There was another article that was really saying Atlanta was the eighth fastest growing city among large cities. And they project about 2.9 million people moving to the Atlanta, Atlanta area by 2050. There was also an article by Money Magazine that was published naming Atlanta as the best place to live in the US. Now you can imagine all of us here in Atlanta love to brag about that article and shared it with all of our friends. <laughs> so I, you know, it is a great place to live, but there are definitely other places, great places to live in the US as well. So anyway, so you can kind of see the scope of, you know, just how many people are moving to the Atlanta area. Now you're probably wondering, why are they moving here? What's so great about Atlanta? Well, I'm gonna give you five reasons and let's start with number one. And I would say that would be the job diversity. Um, you, there's so many different job opportunities here in the Atlanta area. And because we have such a diverse job market, that is really beneficial for our overall economy because we're not dependent on just one type of job industry. Because if that goes in the tank, you know, we have all these other job markets to keep our economy afloat. Atlanta is ranked fourth in the number of Fortune 500 companies headquartered in a metro area. Some of those industries you might recognize, Home Depot, Delta, Coca-Cola, UPS, AT&T, Newell Rubbermaid, and we have a lot of other big companies here as well. Big one that I love, Chick-fil-A, there's also Arby's, there is Equifax, Georgia Pacific, Waffle House, and the list goes on and on. So a lot of different companies here headquartered in the metro Atlanta area, and a lot of different, like I said, job um, industries here. Uh, healthcare is a huge one, education, there is the accommodation and food services arena, retail trade, um, transportation, manufacturing, finance. The film industry is now big here. Uh, Atlanta is sometimes dubbed Yollywood. You know, the first time I heard that, I laughed out loud. I just thought that was so funny. Um, you get it, Yollywood? Anyway, um, so the film industry is big here. And also the tech industry, we have Microsoft, Google, MailChimp it has set up a, a campus here. Um, so a lot of tech companies are coming. It's like the Silicon Valley of the South sometimes is what we're referred to. So you can see a lot of different industries right here in the Atlanta area. So that is great for diversity and, um, you know, bringing in a lot of different people from a lot of different fields. Number two on my list would be cost of living. Okay, people that have lived here in Atlanta for quite a while would probably complain that the cost of living has gone up. Yes, I am not going to say it's super cheap here anymore. It has increasingly gotten higher. And you know, I think Atlanta has been one of those big metro areas that was a little under the radar compared to other big cities and it's slowly catching up. You know, we get all these people moving from the West Coast and New York, Chicago, Boston, um, from higher priced cities and they're looking at Atlanta like, wow, you can get so much for your money here compared to where they were at. Like here you can get a yard and a four bedroom house for a fraction of the cost what they would pay in their city. So if you're looking at it from a big macro perspective, um, you know, those big cities are going to think, wow, Atlanta's a, a great 
value. You know, we are struggling, I'm not gonna lie, that people that have lived here all their life and we have those legacy residents, um, they're struggling because the property values have increased so much, their property taxes have increased, they can no longer afford to live where they are and they're feeling like they're getting pushed out. So that is a big problem that we're dealing with here in the Atlanta area. And I don't think it's just an Atlanta thing. I think that is a lot of other big cities are having this issue. Now the median sales price for Metro Atlanta is currently 445,000. And this is a big increase from, if you look at January of 2020, um, we've seen a 60% increase in the median sales price. So. As you, as you can see, Atlanta has dramatically increased in the price of a home. And of course, you know, depending on where you live, which neighborhood or suburb you live in, the prices definitely can fluctuate. But on, on average, we're seeing around a 445,000 price point. Number three would be weather. Okay, Atlanta does have four seasons, but they're all relatively mild. You know, we have a really nice spring, really nice fall, and we have a summer and it gets hot. You know, some people like to say hot Atlanta. Uh, you know, it gets hot and humid, but I don't think it's too much hotter than a lot of other places in the United States, but I guess it depends on where you're coming from. Um, but in the winter, yes, sometimes we do get snow and when that happens, all hell breaks loose. But for the most part, we have pretty mild seasons, nothing over overly crazy. Occasionally we get remnants of a hurricane, um, maybe a tornado, some strong thunderstorms. It rains here, uh, but nothing's you know too extreme one way or another. I think people are attracted to this mild weather that we have here. Number four on my list would be diversity. So, you know, one thing I found surprising when I moved to Atlanta is that it is very, very diverse. And Atlanta is sometimes is known as the black Mecca because, uh, because of its large African-American population that makes just over 50% of the total population here in the Atlanta area. So this is a great spot, you know, especially if you're an African-American coming into a city where you're surrounded by a lot of people that look like you. I mean, it's gotta be a very welcoming feeling. You know, I think there are a lot of other major cities where African-Americans are still a minority and how great is it that you can come here, feel welcomed and, you know, we embrace you. The LGBTQ community is also big here in the Atlanta area. And I would say the main staple festival for them is in the fall. They have the Atlanta Pride Festival. And I've got to give the LGBTQ community some credit because they came into the city of Atlanta that at one time wasn't the greatest place to hang out. They came in and they just have great decor taste. And they have come in and decorated these condos and homes, renovated them to um, looking really good. So thank you guys for that because you right guys really have changed the look of, especially like the Midtown area to a much more tasteful area to live in. Finally, number five on my list would be that Atlanta has a lot of things to do. You know, Atlanta has a great food scene. It's growing year by year. And in fact, there was an article by the US News saying that Atlanta ranked number 14 as one of the best food cities. So hopefully we get down there and, you know, I think they can improve on their barbecue and Tex-Mex, but that's just my uh, personal opinion. <laughs> but we do have a lot of great restaurants, a lot of food halls here. Um, so if you're a foodie, Atlanta is a great spot. There's also, we have the pros sport teams, anything from football, baseball, soccer, we got all that covered for you. And if you're kind of wanting, you know, mountains and trails or beaches, we have all that that's pretty drivable as well. You can get to the mountains within about an hour and a half. The closest beach would be Tybee Island. That's about a four and a half hour drive. I personally like going over to 30A. This is over at the Florida Panhandle. And I will say a lot of Atlanta likes going to 30A. It is kind of the place that people go to for spring break or summer vacation. It's just a handful of quaint beach towns that you can hop on a bike, ride around. The beaches are beautiful. The water is that, that turquoise blue. It's just really, really nice. Now, if you're moving here from a coastal city, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you're probably going to miss the beach a little bit, but hey, at least driving to the beach in a day is manageable here. You know, five and a half hours isn't so bad. You know, me coming from Kansas growing up, we didn't go to the beach because that was a 14 to 15 hour drive. So um, not so bad when you put it in that perspective.
Now in terms of other things to do here in the Atlanta area, well, there's always music venues and concerts going on, lots of different festivals happening throughout the year. And there's a lot of art scenes that you can go to, like the Botanical Gardens, there's the High Museum of Art, there's the Center for Puppetry Art. So a lot of different things like that, that, um, you know, if you've got family visiting in town, you can go check it out. Or, you know, just on a rainy day, it's a fun place to go and visit. Well, don't go visit the Botanical Gardens on a rainy day, but you get what I'm saying. All right, you guys, well, that rounds out my list of why people are moving here to the Atlanta area. Hopefully this was helpful for you to kind of see why this might be an area you might want to move to. And if you are thinking about making a move to Atlanta, whether that's tomorrow or next year, reach out to me if you've got questions about where to live or you need help with that future home purchase. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. Would love to hear from you. Now, if you see me out in the wild, make sure you say hello. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you around the neighborhood.